At the moment we're about halfway through our puppet making module um, and the brief we've been given is to make a character for a preschool children's TV show. Um, so my character is a little artist uh, for a kids arts and crafts show. She's a, a little character who lives on an artist's workbench um, and makes things out of household bits and bobs like cereal packets and loo roll tubes. At the moment I'm working on the character's hair which is made up of yarn that I've unravelled and um, glued into wefts and then I'll stick them onto the character's head and style it. My puppet is a chubby teddy bear um, and he's going to wear a bathing suit which I'm making at the moment and he's wearing a rubber ring and a snorkel. And at the moment I'm working on the costume and I wrapped the puppet that I made with cling film and then masking tape. And from the masking tape I drew the seams on it and then I cut it and I did the same on calico. And now from the calico I'm doing on the actual fabric that I would like to use. My puppet is called Noah. He's a frog chameleon hybrid in a post-apocalyptic nature environment where he is an explorer and a bit like a young David Attenborough details in his costume is his hook in the jumper and the jumper will be hand knitted. At the moment I'm doing the moulds for the hands and I will continue on doing moulds for the shoes and the head soon. This is the maquette, so this is uh, sort of a 3D sculpt uh, of the character um, and from there I've taken off the heads, the hands and the feet and made a mould of them and um, they'll be cast in fibreglass or silicon. Um, and then this is the armature for the finished puppet which I've wrapped in foam. Um, so that gives it a bit of shape. It's been really great to see my character come to life throughout the process and I'm really looking forward to handing her over to the animators so they can bring her to life on screen.